Hello, I'm Celine. I'm a second year environmental engineering student in NUS. I received an A plus in CE 2407 and would like to share my understanding on the contents covered in this course. Therefore, I have created this set of videos. I will be breaking down the important concepts of the topics as well as showing the step-by-step -step guide to solve the questions. I hope you enjoy this learning journey, so let's get started. In this module, I will be covering Gaussian elimination and LU decomposition. Consider the following system of n linear equations in n unknowns. There are three operations permitted to work around on the equations. So the first one, we let lambda as a non-zero constant, an equation e i can be multiplied by any non-zero constant second we can add ei with another equation In the third one, we can swap the equations order. Let's look at an example. We have this set of equations to solve. The first thing to do is to transform it into AX equals to B matrix form. So now it's in the form of a x equals to b. Then we use Gaussian elimination. We write a and b together. We call this matrix form as a augmented. And then to work with Gaussian elimination, we need to get the reduced form of A augmented, which means we have the elements in this triangle as zero. So we need so this is a diagonal line, and we need to have all the elements under this diagonal line as zero. And then one thing to take note of is that the elements in the main diagonal which is which are the elements a i i cannot be zero we'll look into more details later so let's start reducing the element so we'll work from e2 first to make this 5 into 0 we work with e2 minus 5 over 4 e1 And this constant, <clears throat> multiply, multiplying the other equation, is aimed to reduce the element into zero. And for E3, we work with E3 minus 1 over 4 of E1. So now we get two of this as zero. We still have this element to reduce. 
in this round we use we work with e3 minus a constant multiplied by e2 because you have this element you need to remain this element as 0 so you cannot minus e3 with e1 And then now that we get the reduced form, we can transform it into the corresponding linear system. So x3, we can directly get For x2, we need the value of x3, but we have calculated x3, so we just plug in the value. 